Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anthony, and welcome to another edition of BNA Sports Talk. And I, that was a little bit of a hiccup there, but I uh, hope you guys uh, do and are enjoying the uh, coverage I've been doing over the past couple of days. Um, I think it's been fairly solid. I mentioned Matt Pert. I I do I like him a lot. I, I do. Um, I think that. You know, as far as Nate Solder, there we're gonna have, we're gonna have that conversation for videos to come. I think that we may cut Solder, but um, but then again, I thought we were gonna cut Janoris Jenkins, but then we kept him in as like a locker room figure. We may trade him mid season, but we'll discuss more about that later. I think we should start Andrew Thomas at left. I don't want to confuse him. I don't want to start him at right and then move him over to left. And then all of a sudden we have a problem and he looks like a bust. And then everyone's talking about, is he a bust? I think we should just start him at left tackle. I think we should start Nate Solder at right tackle. That's my opinion right now. Matt Pert, he's a developmental guy. He's the guy for depth, just in case, you know, a guy gets hurt. People are like, oh, why are we sucking another tackle? Well, I don't know. People get hurt. People, do, people's parents, stuff happens, you know, it's not, it's not perfect, you selected the best guy available, now, yesterday I wanted us to trade up into the uh, third round, but we didn't see a guy that we liked, I'm fine with that, you didn't like Jabari Zuniga, you didn't like Grenard, you didn't like any of the guys that went, that's good, I'm totally okay with that, but today I really think you should trade up, we don't need four seventh round picks, I would keep Mr. Irrelevant just for like the jokes and the memes and stuff, because you don't trade Mr. Irrelevant, if you're gifted Mr. Irrelevant, you don't trade out of that spot, yeah, that's just a given, um, I like this guy Meek Robinson, cornerback, I think we should focus on defense today, I wouldn't be upset if we get a wide receiver, Antonio Gandy-Golden is still available, um, there, are, there are a decent amount of receivers also uh, still available as well, um, I don't want to go running back, really. The only thing I don't, I, I wouldn't mind, you know, uh, McFarland, he's still available. But out of the top uh, wide receivers available, um, I, a- Antonio Gandy Golden is a guy that I really like. And uh, the, as far as the rest of the guys that are still available, uh, you do have KJ Hill, Colin Johnson, Joe Reed. Uh, Donovan Peoples Jones, I think, is a little bit overrated. I saw him at the Penn State game, that's the only game I watched. Didn't really, um, didn't really like him. I think we can get Tyler Johnson at 150. Um, as far as any tight ends, I don't think we should draft any guys. No guys right now on the board really jump out at me uh, that well, um, unless we, we know something that we don't. And the thing is, the Giants have been selecting from the same pool, Alabama, Georgia, uh, UConn. The, those, are the, those are the pools we're selecting out of, so we've been a little bit safe. I think we're going to go a little bit small school today. Uh, offensive tackle, I think we're good at. You could take a card on a Trey Adams later. Guard, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be mad if we take a card on a six-rounder. I really don't. Um, get a guy, get your future guy with Kevin Zeitler just in case he gets hurt. You can plug and play a guy. So you can get Nate Solder at, uh, not Nate Solder, Nick Gates at uh, center. I also wouldn't mind a center. Tyler Biedish has had a little bit of an injury history, but he is still available. I really like him. Natane Muti, high upside. If you could just... Um, if you just keep him on the roster, he's had a lot of an injury history, but this dude is a mauler. So just get him in our facility, um, get him with the medical staff, make sure he's doing things right, wait until he's ready, maybe give him some reps and whatever, and you know try to coach him up. Again, these guys, I think we should start drafting guys with high upside, because if you think about it, our roster is pretty much filled. You take a look, our offensive line has a decent amount of depth. Wide receivers, Coleman, uh, we, we, have, we have a lot of depth. Uh, you know, Golden Tate's going to be leaving in two years. Sterling Shepard, he may retire. Evan Ingram, you're not too sure. There are questions there. You know, draft a guy, guy for, uh, for uh, you know, uh, as a backup or, you know, as a guy with high upside that can play. We got Darius Slate in the fifth round. You know, you take a look at our cornerbacks. We've been, we highly addressed that over the past couple of years. Beal, I don't know what the Miami Dolphins are doing with 14 picks. I really don't. I think they're going to be very active today in trading up. I don't think we should trade down today at all. Uh, I think that there are enough guys that are good. And again, Nikane Muti and a bunch of guys that we could we could pick. Uh, I don't think we we're gonna we should trade back at all. Uh, there may be teams again like the Houston Texans that are looking to trade back and accumulate more assets, but they pick right behind us, and I don't think that uh, any of their spots are gonna be very interesting from what I saw. The LA Rams may be a team that wants to trade back. Um, the Denver Broncos may want to trade back. I don't really think so about them. I think it's just gonna select the best guy available. I'm gonna make a video about it later, but like. They haven't really te- uh, addressed the offensive line. They drafted Cushenberry, but like, who's gonna be their tackle? I'm I'm not sure. But uh, yeah. So as far as the uh, the other positions, cornerback Amik Robinson, I really like. Um, we already addressed safety. I think we're good in the secondary. Edge is a major thing that I think we should address today. Um, a couple of guys that you really liked uh, fell, uh, didn't fall to you, but I think you should address edge today. Your inside linebackers. Um, they're not um, they're they're not that many um, that are are good. But Troy Die, I think we should take him. Akeem Gathers Gaither, 
love him. Those are two guys that are going to be available probably, or at least one of them, because there's two outside linebackers. And yeah, that's pretty much it. As far as D end, um, Curtis Weaver, I've heard mixed things about him. I've heard of some people had a first round grade on this dude. So again, high upside. Bradley and I really like him. So um, yeah, Alton Robinson, I've heard good things about him. I'm just looking at the list right now, which probably makes my voice sound a little bit weird because I'm not uh, right next to my microphone on my phone. And uh, cornerbacks, just to round out the, the next guys available, I'm pretty sure you guys have checked. Troy Pride Jr. had good things about, but overall, Lamar Jackson, I think the seventh round grade on him would be good. But I want us to take some gambles today. I really do think we should take some gambles. We don't know a lot about these guys, so you might as well just pick for upside. And if we don't, um, you know, if you pick the safe guys, I'll be a little bit upset today. The goal today, get an edge guy. Um, to help out Leonard Williams, make him not double team because that that's a uh, that's a big issue that we still have on this team. We didn't really address that. Maybe get an outside linebacker, Troy Die. Those are the guys I'm looking at today. I'm excited. <laughs> uh, I've never been more excited about a day three draft. We have seven picks today. Uh, the draft starts at 12. If you're not sure, um, if you weren't sure, because it's so hard to find information about the draft. Like they have all the information, they have all the top prospects, but like when 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 does it start? I feel like they should do a better job with that. Like um, this is a little bit side tangent, but I was doing the weather or whatever. I saw enhanced risk for a tornado. I don't know when the tornado is coming. <laughs> like, yeah, people are missing out on like, oh, there might be a tornado. I'm like, yeah, but when is it going to happen? <laughs> but anyway, hope you guys enjoy this video. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed my draft coverage. We'll talk more about the Soldier, Evan Ingram, and uh, maybe Logan Ryan, because I've been thinking about him recently. And another video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.